so I've been asked to do question number one from um, M1, June 2018, the IAL paper, Mechanics, and this question is about momentum and impulse. Particle P has a mass 3m and particle Q has a mass m. The particles are moving towards each other in opposite directions along the same straight line on a smooth horizontal plane. Okay, so you've got your horizontal plane and you've got two particles, P and Q. So I'll make a circle to represent, oops, not circle. So I'm going to use a circle to represent P and Q. So I have that's P and that's Q. I could put them, I could put P here and Q there. I could put them the other way around if I want to. It's absolutely no problem. Put P and here we have Q. Okay, P has a mass 3M and Q has a mass of M. Okay, the particles are moving towards each other. So P is moving this way and Q is moving that way. Okay, there's nothing to tell me to draw P and Q there. I could switch them around. I could I could have drawn my Q on this side and my P on that side. No problem. Okay. Now, um, the particles collide immediately before the collision. The speed of P is U. So U, this direction. Let me pull this pen out. Okay, so it's U in this direction. And the speed of Q is 3 in the other direction. Um, in the collision, the magnitude of the impulse exerted by Q on P is 5 mu. So the magnitude of the impulse is 5 mu. Now the impulse exerted by Q on P is equal and opposite to the impulse exerted on P by Q. Okay? And when they collide. Now, we want to find the speed of P immediately after the collision. Okay, so we don't know what direction it's in. Okay, we're not sure what direction it's in. I'm just gonna, well, I won't even put an arrow there. I just say we have to find the speed of P. So let's call that VP. That's what we have to find immediately after the collision. Now, normally <coughs> in this type of situation, They'll tell you the speed of one of the particles before and after, the speed of one of the particles before, and they'll ask you to find the speed of the particle, okay, after of the particle after the collision. That's that will be the unknown. So, but in this case, we don't know what the speed of Q is, nor do we know the speed of P after the collision. So we can't use that normal method. But there's always a way to answer these questions. So as you probably notice, they gave us a clue, okay, which was this last sentence here. The magnitude of the impulse exerted by Q on P is 5 mu. Okay, that's where the clue is for us to answer the question. Now we know that the impulse is equal to the change of momentum. Mv minus mu, okay where V and U are the in final and initial velocities. Yep. So <coughs> the impulse is a change in momentum, okay, which is the, the difference in momentum before um, and after the collision. So we want to find the speed of P immediately after the collision. So let's look at the momentum before and the momentum after the collision. Okay, so this will become VP. We're looking, we're, com we're considering the particle P. Okay, now, what we're going to do is, I'm going to take this direction as positive. It's up to me what I want to do. Can, you can ca call left or right positive, it's up to you. As I've got P moving in this direction, I'm taking that direction as positive. Now, I know that the impulse that's exerted on P by Q, okay, as, you know, Q is headed this way, P is headed that, that way, 
they're heading towards each other, they collide. So the impulse that's exerted onto P, okay, by Q, all right, is going to be the same magnitude as the impulse exerted, okay, by P on Q, but it's going to be in the opposite direction. And the direction that the impulse is going to act on P is this direction, because it's going to slow it down or change its direction. So it's, the impulse has to be acting in the direction opposite to where P is moving. So I know that the impulse, okay, is going to be negative 5 mu. That's the impulse, if I've taken right as positive, that's the impulse that's going to be acting on P, which is caused by the change of momentum, which is the mass of P, which is 3m, times the change in its speed, Okay, that will give me the change of momentum. So VP is what I have to find. And U is in the positive direction, the initial velocity. So it's VP minus U. Okay, so now everything has got the right sign. Okay, I've taken right as positive. So U is a positive and the impulse is negative 5 MU. Okay, that's the impulse. All right. So now we can use this equation here to find what we need, which is VP. So if we expand, okay, um, in fact, we could even divide everything by 3 if you want to. First of all, this M will cancel out. We'll have f minus 5 over 3U equals VP minus U. And then we can say minus 5 over 3U plus U is equal to VP, whoops, something's happened to my pin there. So we know therefore that, therefore VP is equal to, that's minus five over three U plus uh, three over three U. So it's minus two over three U. Okay, they only want uh, the speed. They don't care about the, the velocity, so the speed Okay, is equal to two thirds of u. Okay, and you could, if you want, I don't ask you to write it, but it's a good idea to get used to the direction. Okay, of p is reversed. The direction of p is reversed. Reversed. Okay, so that's how you can find the speed of P. Then it says find the speed of Q immediately after the collision. Then we could do the same thing. We could do the same thing. Or now, because we know the speed of P is this direction and it's two thirds U. Okay, we could then use the fact that the momentum before the collision is equal to momentum after the collision. Or we could use the change in momentum of Q um, is equal to the impulse on Q, and the impulse on Q is acting to the left. Okay, sorry, what I'm talking about is acting to the right because you know Q has been either slowed down or it's changed its direction because P has hit Q. So the impulse of P on Q is 5 mu to the right. I've taken the right as positive, so I can now say the same, do the similar kind of thing for Q. Okay, so I can say that. For Q, let me just, uh, oops, for Q, we have impulse equals M times VQ minus the initial velocity of, of Q. So we've got positive 5 mu is equal to the mass of P is M itself, of Q, sorry, is M itself. Okay, that's M times what we have to find. Okay, and we know that it was traveling in the opposite direction to what we call positive, which is 3u, so it'll be negative 3u. So you're gonna have minus, minus 3u. So be very careful with the signs in this type of question. So again, the m will cancel out. So we're left with 5u equals, we're gonna have vq, 
v cube plus 3. So the velocity of q is going to be 5u minus 3u. So you've got 5u minus 3u. So the velocity of q, the velocity of q is 2u. So you can say its speed is 2u. Okay. And it's again traveling in the opposite direction to what it was traveling before. So this is asking us to find the speed of q immediately after the collision. So the speed of q is 2u acting, is 2u, and you can say direction is reversed. Direction reversed. It's changed its direction. Okay, and there we have the answer to question number one from M1, 2018, June. Okay, so the answer is two-thirds U for part A and two U for part B. Thank you for watching.